how to allow only one checkbox input in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can allow user to only checkmark one checkbox from a group of checkbox in Microsoft Excel. We are going to create several checkbox here and then we are going to use VBA to restrict user to only input one checkbox. Let's get started. Now I have a blank worksheet here and I'm going to create three checkbox here. Okay. And this video will have several parts and this video will have several code also. So make sure you follow the instruction step by step. Okay. Now first we have to create a checkbox. So click on developer tab. Now click on insert and from here we are going to select active X control checkbox. Okay. Now draw your checkbox. I have created our first checkbox now i'm going to press ctrl and drag it so this will copy the checkbox i'm going to drag it again by pressing ctrl now we have three checkbox now i want to change the caption here okay checkbox one i want to change this caption so right click and click on properties and here you can see caption so double click here and remove it and we are going to write our caption we have written our caption and close it and you can see the checkbox name has changed so right click again on the second checkbox click on properties and here caption and change and on the third checkbox right click properties caption So our checkbox caption has been changed. Okay. Now I'm going to create a group for this checkbox. So I'm going to click on visual basic, then insert and then create class module. Okay. Now before writing any code in the class module, I'm going to change the name of this class module. So click on view and here select properties window. This will open the properties window for class one okay if you can't find this just double click here and this will ensure the class module now here in the name change this name to check box class and here c b and c are in capital letter so make sure you write this exact name because we are going to write this name inside our vba code okay so our checkbox class name has been changed. Now we are going to add codes. Okay. Click on here and paste the code. The code will be linked in the description. And this is the first part of the code. And in the description, this part of the code will be named as class checkbox and copy only that part. Okay. And paste it here. Now we are going to click on insert and then click on module. Okay. And paste this code here. This part of the code will be linked in the description also and it will be placed under the name module. So it will be really easy for you to copy it from there. Once you have the code placed here, run the code by clicking this green play button. Okay. I have already run the code. Now this will still work. If we don't do anything else, our checkbox will be restricted to input only one, but once you reopen this workbook, it will not work. So that's why we need to automate this a bit more. So here, click on this workbook, double click here and paste this code inside this part. Okay. So double click on this workbook and then paste this code. Again, the code will be linked in the description and this part of the code will be placed under workbook code section. So copy it from there. Okay. Now, Close this and let's check if it's working. So if I click here on married and you can see the other two checkboxes are grayed out. So you cannot check mark these two. Now if I uncheck here and select another one, the rest of the checkboxes are now grayed out. So that means you cannot use them. Okay. 
Now the last thing you should do is to save this workbook. So click on file, click on save as, save it anywhere you want with any name you want. So let's give it a name one, two, three, four. But the important thing is that save as type. So click on this drop down and from here select Excel macro enable workbook, okay, which is .xlsm format. Now if I save it, it will work just fine. Now if I close this workbook and reopen the workbook, click on enable content. If I uncheck married, everything is normal. If I check mark this option, the rest of them are grayed out. So this is how you can restrict user to check mark only one checkbox from a group of checkbox. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.